Piru Lake in uh, Central or Southern California. It's kind of borderline. We're, uh, we've been camping here for two nights now. We're on the third night. And tonight, we're going to do some Greenhorn Brioche Slider Smash Burgers. So stick around. Alright, so Deb's preparing all the uh, onions and lettuce and, and tomatoes for the slider. So let's go in and surprise her and see what's going on. Patch. Wow, how'd you get here? Hey, baby. All right, what do we got oh, here? Hi, honey. I'm sorry. Um, brioche buns, um, some festive plates, some wieners, uh -huh. wieners. some uh, burgers for some smash uh, sliders, and some chopped onions, tomatoes, American cheese. All right, so it looks like uh, Deb's been preparing the uh, meat and all the trimmings and stuff. What? What's that? Oh, that's Kylie. <laughs> she's she's our niece from Phoenix. Say hi, Kylie. Hi. All right, she she's been staying with us, getting her uh, Get her, her, her camping on. fix on and, and stuff. So um, this is our last night of a three night camping trip for the July weekend. And again, so we have our rolled up balls of beef for our smash burgers. We've made them a little bit smaller. But you want to roll them up in little round balls, and I'll show you why in a little bit. Of course, you have some some mayo. I'm not sure what the ketchup's for. Um, we got some brioche slider buns. The wieners. Honey. Oh, the wieners. Of course, we got a little bit of beverages and the onions, lettuce, and tomato, and uh, coffee. This is our rig. This is a 23 foot toy hauler that we've had for a few months now, and this is actually been our maiden uh, voyage weekend and so far it's been a, a really great experience uh, we're dry camping so we're running our generator so if you hear some background noise that's why and okay. Kylie over there is our taste tester she's gonna let us know whether we did good or not uh -huh. she's not gonna hold back so maybe in a future video we'll give you a tour of the rig but today it's all about cooking so let's get started so we're going to do smash sliders. They're going to be a little bit smaller than the regular version. But uh, what I want to show you guys now is something we're going to do the hot dogs on. In a few videos back, we did a uh, little intro on a little Traeger tailgater that we got. I think that's what it's called. And I'm going to show you our setup that we use that you don't have to use any shore power at all to control. So that's a Traeger. As you can see, it's got the same controller as the bigger ones. I'm not really sure if there's a difference at all. And we used it last night to do a couple tri-tips. I was able to fit two tri-tips on this thing. And the hopper's right there. It really behaves like a full-size trigger. I have a, a dry cell gel battery uh, deep cycle. I got from Walmart for about a buck fifty. And this Traeger came with a power inverter, which is really nice. And basically, comes with these clips already installed, which I've hooked up here. Goes straight to the back of the power inverter, and then you just plug it in. You got power. And then you just do the smoke setting. And there you go. So we cooked two tri-tips on this thing last night using that same battery and inverter. And we got up to about 450 degrees on its high setting until we were done on the inside about uh, 128 degrees internal temperature. We took it off seared it a little bit and then we ate it during the day i hook up a 100 watt solar panel to it with a charge controller for solar cells and it tops the battery back off but you can use any kind of uh battery charger that you want but since we're dry camping here we use solar 
The rig is equipped with solar as well, but this is kind of a portable system that we've uh, found that look, works pretty good. So this is our portable system. And the heart of it is this Coleman charge controller that we have here. It's a 30 amp. This thing is good enough for any kind of trailer that you have, camping trailer that's rated for 30 amps. You could hook up about 470 watts of solar to this thing. You can see here on these uh, little spades, I hook these up to the uh, battery while it's charging. And the actual solar panel is right there. So it's, it's really important to make sure that when that solar panel is seeing the sunshine to watch out for these leads. This is a 12 volt panel, so it's pretty safe to touch these things if they're seeing direct sunlight. But uh, you want to be careful of it anyway. You don't want to touch them and short something out. Um, but that panel is, uh, is, is live as long as it sees sunshine. So once it's done charging, the uh, solar controller works as a trickle charger and, and, and you could uh, keep your battery on it all day or all night. Um, our rig has a 160 watt panel built in on the roof with a, uh, another ZAMP solar charger controller on the wall. And we have two house batteries, deep cycle dry cell or uh, maintenance free kind of batteries. Uh, so it's just another option to, to use when you're dry camping. And if you hear in the background, we got a, our own end 4,000 watt generator running along because the girls got the AC going. And, uh, and plus we can use other things like the stereo and the TV uh, while the generator is running. Uh, once we turn off the generator, we're back to dry camping and, and we're going off just the house batteries. So the fun has to come to an end. So anyway, I just wanted to show you that really quick. We're going to get back to cooking. All right, so we're going to get started here. Like I said, we got the trigger here for the hot dogs and we got the camp chef for the smash burgers. So Deb's going to put the hot dogs on the trigger. There we go. So we got this trigger set for about 250. Yeah. And we did a little cross hatch kind of pattern. It's really hard to see. But we put those on there. We're just gonna let those smoke for a little while. About 250. And do our smash burgers. So I'm gonna put a little bit of oil down. And I'm using a avocado oil because it's got a high burn temperature. You can already see why these are going to be called smash burgers. Why? So why? it's really important to season these things at every step. A little salt. I you put when you're A little bit of pepper. Tell you when it's ready to flip. So if you look down here, the gray comes up the side, it's ready to flip over. So you can see why they're called smash burgers. Although some of them didn't survive 
that's okay. These little nooks and crannies is what you want. Because it's going to have a lot more room for the juices and the heat to get in there and really kind of crisp it up and fry it up really well. So we're going to let these grill just a little bit longer and then we're going to flip them. why they call it smash burger. All right, so we're going to flip them over here. Hot dogs look like they're just about done. You notice how we did a little cross hatching here? Again, more surface area to get it crispier. And that's what you want. You want a nice char. You want to get a little crisp. Those are almost done too. Most hot dogs are meat pre cooked. You don't really have to do a whole lot of cooking, but you, you, you got to warm up a little bit. You definitely want that sear. You want that crispy. All right, so it didn't take long. We're going to go ahead and build up a couple of these burgers. We're going to take one of these with American cheese, right there on that little mini brioche. And then we're going to do the Munster cheese, one right there. And we're going to do another Munster cheese, that one right there. Okay, baby. We're just going to put a slice of tomato on each. Looks like we're running short of tomato here. I didn't cut enough. Does my Kylie girl like uh, onions? No, thank you, Auntie. Okay, this burger, the burger over there is the worst. <laughs> okay, now we're gonna, oh, we're gonna put the cap on. Yeah. Kylie does not like onions, so we are making okay. some without onions. Here you go. Look good. All right. Now we got these. Oh, look at that burnt cheese. Yum. So Kylie likes the cheese. We got a cheese here, and we got a cheese here. There's your two cheesies, and then we have some plain ones because not everybody likes tomato. And then um, there you go. More of these beautiful little. Sliders and brioche bun. These buns are awesome. They hold together well. They don't fall apart. And um, now we're going to prepare 
our um, prepper two hot dogs here. We're going to put a slice of a cheese. Oh, wow. All right, them dogs are good. Yeah. All right. So these things look absolutely delicious. And the hot dogs look great, too. Trigger grilled. And let's see which one. Okay. I got Kylie Trigger. I like the American cheese, so I'm going to go ahead and taste one. Here you go, Kyan. Oh, man. Is that good, baby? Is that good, Kylie? Alright guys, so that's our version of sliders in the drive camping or trailer or the tent area in my room. So be sure to subscribe, sorry, and like, share, hit that bell, and we will see you on the next run. And if you guys want to get one of these hats and one of these shirts, go down in the description, hit us up at Teespring. They're the cheapest shirts you're going to buy. If you're not, let me know, and I'll make them cheaper. Talk to you soon.